very good morning so in this uh, video lessons we are going to discuss about uh, uh, varietal seed production in rice <coughs> actually rice that have uh, both variety and hybrid first we can discuss about that uh, matter related to that uh, varietal seed production so before getting into that uh, production related data i wanted to give you some information about that uh, seed structures so that uh, rice seed that is a monocot that will have uh, only one cotyledon that cotyledon also fully utilized by the uh, endosperm during that seed development process so that resulted in uh, reduction of the size of the cotyledon that is uh, um, uh, uh, available in the seed in the name of that scutellum that also placed in between embryo and endosperm <coughs> then it's uh, albuminous kind of seeds and uh, this seed is uh, <coughs> surrounded by the lemma and pallia so here you can see that uh, the lengthy covering is a lemma this one is a pallia so that lemma and pallia that completely cover that endosperm as well as the embryo so the major area of the paddy seed is uh, occupied by the endosperm and uh, <coughs> very small part um, is allotted to that uh, embryo so that is this is embryo the, the embryo is a living part whereas that endosperm is a non-living in nature <coughs> this is in charge about that uh, paddy seed structure <coughs> and then regarding that uh, rice plant morphology so here that uh, flower is colored as a panicle so the flower is the panicle so that it will have a topmost leaf is a flag leaf and uh, it's a fibrous root systems so monocot is a monocot plant this don't have a well developed uh, uh, stem and all so it's a stem and all covered by the leaf it's a, not a woody in nature so these are all the things with reference to that uh, rice plant morphology is concerned then before uh, uh, starting that uh, any uh, seed production operation any crop we must know that uh, uh, floral biology of that particular crop particularly we must know that uh, that the uh, pollination behavior and the time of opening of the flower and the flowering period so if you know all these parameters so based on that you can uh, select a land and you can plan that uh, appropriate uh, uh, timely intervention related agriculture operations so most of the operation we have to do it in a timely then only we can get a very good yield with assured uh, seed quality so uh, for this purpose uh, you must know that uh, flowering behavior of your seed crop so here that the seed crop is a paddy so the paddy is a self pollinated one so the extent of cross pollination is uh, 0 to 4 percent but this is a uh, self pollinated one and that uh, flowering time that uh, and this is that is the first opening of the flower so normally that uh, flower opening will occur in between 7 am to 12 pm that flower opening also is a, a basic petal nature basic petal means uh, that uh, the first uh, that uh, the flower is a panicle so the topmost flower first to open then that proceed towards downward so that is a basic petal nature the another type here is there that is that um, we will come uh, i will come to that one and the uh, the remaining crops while we are discussing that maize and kambu and all whereas in the case of uh, rice the flower opening is a uh, basic petal and the inflorescence is called as a panicle and uh, normally that uh, pa that uh, panicle will be ready for pollination uh, fourth day after emergence from the flag leaf so the plant the panicle will be ready for pollination four days after panicle emergence from the uh, the topmost leaf that is a, a flag leaf and uh, flowering period also that will be uh, for about eight to ten days some other uh, female parental line so normally we, we will use that a line as a uh, female parental line for hybrid seed production so some other female parental line the flowering period is uh, 10 to 12 days so in this case that will take 12 days for complete uh, uh, flowering of all the plants available in this particular uh, field so in general that paddy the flowering period is 8 to 10 days so these are uh, uh, images related to that uh, uh, that uh, flower so cell pollinations then here you can see it's a basic petal thing and uh, acro petal and basic petal so in the case of uh, uh, 
base petal the top most one is uh, open first and then that proceed towards the downward whereas acro petal that uh, and the bottom most flowers will open first and then proceed towards the upward so that is a process so in this have a pad it's a base petal nature so here you can see that uh, top most uh, flowers available in the panicle is started opening and slowly towards uh, proceed downwards and finally the bottom most uh, flowers will open so this is a process with reference to that flower opening mm. whereas so this is a internal structure of the uh, that uh, flowers so this is a uh, stamens so this is a stigma two stigma five bit nature and this is a ovary green color is a ovary <clears throat> so here you can see so that ovary everything is available so this is surrounded by yellow color that stamen on either side three things will be there so totally six and this will be available so if it is a fertile nature so the appearance will be like this so if it is a sterile in nature that stigma and everything will be that uh, that won't be any produced growth and uh, that pollen grains also uh, somewhat papery nature not in lemon yellow color so that will appear somewhat brown or black in color so these are all the internal floral morphology of that uh, paddy and also we can we have some uh, pollen viability testing also with the help of that also we can test verify the viability of the pollens so now we are getting into that uh, 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 paddy varietal seed production aspects so uh, uh, now we know that pollination behavior of the crop so the paddy pollination behavior is self pollinated crops and uh, in tamil nadu more demand is there for paddy varietal seeds also so uh, based on that uh, these two criteria that is the whatever the crop in which that self pollination occur and uh, heavy demand is there for seed and low smr is recorded and means in these cases we can go for that five generation system of seed multiplication whereas in the case of paddy smr is not that much low here one is 80 but more demand is there for seed then uh, this also a self pollinator crop so because of that in the case of paddy we can follow that uh, four generation system of seed multiplication that is a builder seed foundation one foundation two then certified seed the certified seeds will be distributed for the grain production purpose so uh, now we decided that uh, uh, number of generations uh, for multiplication of that uh, uh, variety of the paddy so after knowing the generations so what are maybe the class so these are all the things uh, agronomic uh, things we have to um, select so first one is the land selection so regarding that land selection already we have a thumb rule that whatever the land selected for cultivation of uh, that seed crop in this particular season should not be raised with other variety of the same crop in the previous season suppose the same field the selected field is raised with other variety of the same crop in the previous season means there we have to follow some strategy uh, to mainly to eradicate the previous season uh, seed material if at all anything is available in the field by that way only we can overcome the problem created by the volunteer plants okay the previous season uh, crop that seed may be uh, remain within the soil uh, that seed will also will germinate the current season so that is a uh, the volunteer plant that is a pollen contaminant so that will create problem because of that only that ac that the seed certification department they are insisting us that the selected land should not be cultivated with other variety of the same crop in the previous seasons so in order to overcome this particular problem what we have to do is uh, uh, you go for flowing of that uh, selected land then irrigate the land allow the seeds whatever the seeds are available in the field allow the seeds to germinate once that uh, seeds and all germinated then you can go for that flowing by that way you can kill all the plants so by that way you can avoid the occurrence of the volunteer plants so these things we have to follow apart from these conditions the selected land should be a fertile one okay so the availability of uh, nutrients so that uh, nutrient availability in the soil that also play a very crucial role with reference to that uh, pollen development and uh, pollination proper pollination and uh, further grain development all those things for the seed development everything is decided by the nutrients that are available in the soil as well as applied nutrients also 
suppose the soil is uh, have the problem of that salinity and sodicity so there that will have more amount of that sodium and um, sodium related salt will be there so that normally uh, uh, causes problem with reference to seed germinations so that uh, seed germination will be the problem once that excess amount of the sodium enter into the plant system means that uh, plant uh, tip burning yellowing all those problems will come so the plants not able to perform very well under that particular conditions if at all that land selected land have the problem of the iron deficiency that the pollen production potential of that plant will be decreased the quantum of the pollen produced will be decreased once that the quantity of produced pollen is decreased uh, there is a starvation with reference to uh, availability of pollen for uh, pollination fertilization of the uh, female organs available in that particular plant so ultimately end up with uh, low fertility and low seed yield so this are all the problem so in order to overcome all these problem the selected land should be a fertile one and that should be free from volunteer plants and that should have a good sunlight and proper aeration must be there so sunlight availability also we have to ensure if at all any trees are going to be there in and around your seed production field so whatever that crop that uh, uh, directly uh, um, that is placed nearer to the tree because of that uh, shade that uh, sunlight reception will be low that uh, yield of that performance of that particular crop is not that much good so proper sunlight and aeration also very very important one and i already told you we have to avoid alkali and acidic soils better we can have a clay loam with a ph of 6.5 that is a ideal soil for cultivation of that paddy so this is with reference to land selection so this and all comes under that agronomic principles and then season so season and climate also very very important that is a deciding factor so as far as tamil nadu is concerned we have uh, so many number of seasons so many so many number of seasons are available so in this particular table that uh, different seasons and uh, that uh, coupled with that month say example december january means that is a uh, navarai season so during that season uh, we can uh, cultivate that uh, rice variety with the duration of 120 days so less than 120 days and durations similarly so navarai car and kuruvai in all the seasons we can now uh, we can cultivate only that uh, short duration varieties and uh, uh, in the month of uh, uh, july august that is uh, early samba season then august samba season and late samba and uh, late pisanam so this and all water availability will be more water availability will be more and uh, um, because of that in uh, uh, samba as well as that uh, late sanam or late taladi during that time we can cultivate that uh, variety with a longer duration that is more than 130 days durations whereas during navarai so navarai or kuruvai during that time that uh, sunlight intensity will be more and water availability also a limiting factor so because of that during that time better we can cultivate that variety with a shorter duration of Uh, less than 120 days so short duration variety we can cultivate during that season so this is a season with reference to tamil nadu for cultivation of the rice is concerned then now that land also selected and the season also finalized then we have to look for that seed material so we have to use authenticated seed material and appropriate uh, quantity also we have to use optimum seed quantity uh, seed rate we have to use then only we can maintain adequate population in the field so we have to maintain optimum population in the field that also very very important that also insisted by the uh, seed certification department uh, so i already told you in the case of rice we have a short duration variety medium duration and long duration so normally short duration means that is 105 to 110 days or 115 days Uh, medium duration that is 110 to 120 days long duration means that is a 130 days or beyond that so if it is a short duration variety means in that case we are to use 50 kg per hectare medium duration variety 40 kg per hectare long duration variety uh, 30 kg per hectare so in the case of short duration and that uh, spacing whatever that spacing we are going to um, follow for uh, at the time of transplanting that is low when compared to long durations so in the case of saturation we will accommodate more number of plants so because of that there we have to use more quantity of the seeds when compared to long duration and medium durations and then after selection of that uh, seeds that seeds should be given with appropriate treatment 
some other paddy variety that have the problem of the dormancy not in all the cases very few cases that have the dormancy it's a kind of a physical dormancy so in order to overcome that particular dormancy the seed must be given with potassium nitrate uh, treatment that is uh, here we are to use 0.5 percent potassium nitrate solutions and uh, the seed should be soaked in the potassium nitrate uh, solution for about 16 hours or we have to use 0.1 in nitric acid hno3 so either we can use that kno3 0.5 percent solutions or 0.1 normal hno3 solution so this is mainly to overcome the dormancy related problems the seeds are not given with these treatments I mean if you go for sowing you cannot get any sealing establishment even though the seeds are viable that not able to give rise any ceilings so to overcome this particular dormancy we have to give this particular treatment and uh, that next slide i will say uh, i will tell you some more treatments and that uh, treatment and all uh, very useful for making your seed to perform very well under field conditions and then now that the land is selected and the seed also ready then we have to go for that uh, transplanting before that we have to look for the possibility of that isolations okay we have to uh, decide whether we are going to follow that uh, space isolation or time isolation or barrier isolation that and all we have to look for uh, if the facilities are available so all the fields are uh, owned by you and there won't be any other varieties or in and around that your uh, paddy seed production field means better you can follow that uh, space isolations if at all any problem with reference to maintenance of that space isolations in these cases you can follow that time isolation particularly in the case of paddy okay but uh, officially seed certification department they are permitting us to follow time isolation only in the case of maize but in the case of paddy there is a, a possibilities are there because this is also a self pollinated one and the flowering period also uh, the 10 to 12 days so because of that uh, no other ways are there we can follow the 21 days of time isolations uh, or other ways we can go for that barrier isolations so for this purpose we have to raise that uh, um, tall growing crops like sesmania maize sugarcane all around the four sides so by that way whatever that barrier crops are raised so that will act as a trap crop so that will prevent the entry of the foreign pollen uh, into a seed field so now we have to decide that isolation so for paddy it's a self pollinator crops mm, there won't be much problems with reference to genetic purity maintenance so because of that for varietal seed production both for foundation as well as certified class of seeds we have to follow that uh, three meter isolation distance so three meter isolation distance is sufficient for paddy three meter isolation distance is sufficient for varietal seed production not for hybrid now we are discussing the matter related to that varietal seed production paddy alone okay so for paddy varietal seed production we have to maintain both for foundation certified class of seeds we have to maintain three meter space isolations and then uh, these are all the matters related to that uh, upgradation of the quality of the uh, seeds so before sowing that uh, seed must be given with uh, some treatment if possible we can go for that uh, upgradation of the uh, seed quality in the case of paddy we are following that egg flotation technique egg flotation technique is followed uh, for upgrading the quality of the seeds in this uh, what we are really doing is uh, we are preparing the salt solutions so uh, the, with the help of the salt solutions we are going to separate the seeds fully packed with the nutrients seeds fully packed with the nutrients and we are going to remove or reject the ill filled seed or partly filled seeds or chappy seeds and all with the help of this one so for this purpose what we have to do is we have to prepare a salt solution with 1.13 specific gravity 1.13 g so in order to have a solution with 1.13 uh, specific gravity we have to dissolve 1.5 kg of edible salt 1.5 kg of that uh, salt whatever salt is available in the uh, house for a cooking purpose the same salt we can use so we have to use 1.5 kg of salt that should be dissolved in 10 liters of water so definitely that will give you 1.13 specific gravity mm, but uh, he in the lab and all we have that uh, checking facility some instruments are available with the help of that we can check whether that particular water 
attain that specific gravity of 1.13 but at the farmers point of view they cannot purchase all of the farmers they cannot purchase that specific gravity water specific gravity checking instruments so for uh, for knowing purpose uh, what they can do is they can uh, uh, before addition of the salt in the water so the what they have to do is they have to take a uh, uh, water in a packet a uh, 10 liter something after taking up that good quality water in a packet they have to place a good quality egg good quality egg in this water if the water is good and the egg also good means if you place the egg on the top that will be settled at the bottom okay that clearly indicates that water quality is good the egg also good then after that you take out the egg and add the salt and go for dissolving after addition and complete dissolving of the salt you again place the egg in the water so now that uh, egg slowly start to uh, take off and start to float so that uh, after first uh, thing uh, that may be here then after that you take out that one add some more amount of salt and uh, dissolve completely then again place the egg and check the position of the egg egg is remain here means again you have to add some more quantity and go for dissolving so uh, whenever that egg that reaches that uh, top layer and uh, the uh, the, uh, the new one ruby coin the exposed the egg will be exposed to outside so part of egg remain within the water and uh, some part will be exposed to outside the exposed area should be equal to a new one ruby coin okay and that egg will be float on the top so at the time of rotation uh, that uh, some surface of that egg will be exposed to outside the water that exposed area should be equal to a new one ruby coin so uh, this is a position of the egg means so definitely the water specific gravity will be 1.13 g okay here that egg is used for knowing the specific gravity of the water after addition of that salt once this uh, this is the right position so once this position is reached uh, once uh, that uh, this much level of that specific gravity of that water is arrived we can remove the egg and uh, uh, place all your seeds all your paddy seeds so now only that good quality seeds alone will settle at the bottom so the ill filled one insect attacked one chappy one everything will be float on the surface so whatever that seeds that get floated that should be removed that should be removed that will be used for some other purpose let's say example we can use that one for making some uh, parched rice tamil it is called as aval uh, or we can go for that uh, cat, uh, cattle field preparation purpose or we can use that material for that uh, um, rice brown oil extraction like that we can so whatever that seed that settled on the bottom that alone is a good quality seeds so you have to separate that singers after separation that singers should be washed thoroughly because here for separation purpose we are using salt solutions so if you are not given with any washing mean that salt will be there that will create a, some sort of problem uh, while you are sowing this particular seed in the field okay so to avoid that particular problem immediately after separation of that the singers so the whatever that seed settle at the bottom that should be thoroughly washed to remove the salt so this is a way in which we can upgrade the quality of the seeds upgrade the quality of the seeds if you sow this kind of uh, separated seeds definitely that uh, germination will be good and uh, whatever the seedlings that come out of that seeds that will be a more vigorous steady growth will be there so this is a, a very popular technology and most of the farmers also following this particular technology for upgrading the quality of the uh, paddy seeds and then and that is upgrading then again we are giving some treatment to uh, uh, make the seed to perform very well so under field conditions so some other micronutrient based treatment also we are offering so mainly that uh, 1% kcl uh, treatment so this is mainly for uh, uh, imparting that uh, drought tolerance drought tolerance mechanisms so to impart the drought tolerance mechanism and make the seed to germinate early under rain fed conditions before sowing that seed must be soaked in 1% potassium chloride solution for about 10 hours after that you can try the seeds under shade condition and bring back to the original moisture content then whenever that favorable condition arises at the time we can go for that sowing or we can give that 2% mno so for or 1% parasulfate uh, 
um, um, solution based soaking so this is also for about 10 hours so this and all uh, get infused and uh, improve the performance of the seeds under field conditions and then apart from nutrient treatments some of the protective treatments also we can offer so that is mainly for giving protection for your seeds against soil borne pathogen as well as soil borne insects so for normally for uh, uh, um, protecting the seeds against the soil borne fungi and in those cases we can give a carbon dosim treatment so here that recommendation is 2 gram per kg of seeds uh, like that we can offer some fungicides as anti insecticide also we can treat similarly uh, we can infuse that bio fertilizers also so we can treat the seed with the asospirulum and astropactor the recommended quantity is 3 pockets per acre of seeds so this and all uh bio fortifications so, so the microbes will be inoculated the inoculated microbes will help the um, uh, that uh, seed and the seedlings to fix the atmospheric nitrogen so that will help the seeds and the seedlings so this are all the advantage of that bio fertilizer treatment so after that um, after are giving all these treatments um, here in the case of paddy we are going for that uh, nursery followed by the transplanting operations once you decided to follow that transplanting operation means uh, we have to take up the nursery so before sowing up the seeds in the nursery and that should be given with uh, appropriate uh, soaking operations in order to make that to seed to sprout after sprouting only we have to sow the seeds in the nursery so for making that uh, seed to sprout we have to soak the seeds overnight in a water and uh, that the next day you have to uh take out the seeds along with, and uh, um, initially that uh, seed should be packed in a canning bag uh, with that position we have to soak it in a water for about overnight then next day he have to take out that uh, bag along with the seeds that should be put it under dark under dark so during that times almost all the hydrolytic enzyme production and conversion process everything will be take place and uh, once that the conversion everything is over that uh, glucose will enter into the glycolysis process started to produce that atp and the elongation of that embryo and rupturing of the seed coat and giving rise that a plumule will occur as and when that uh, plumule just come out of that uh, seed coat at the time we can use that seed for uh, sowing purpose in the nursery so this is a free germinated seeds free germinated seed so in this particular conditions we have to sow the seeds in the nursery so for uh, paddy nursery we have to prepare a field uh, that that should be in a rice bed we have to prepare the uh, dimension of the rice bed and all um, 6 into 1.5 meter the height of that uh, bed also point i mean the width of that uh, things also 0.5 meter why um, things and uh, the channel also we have to arrange so in this rice bed we have to sow the seeds <laughs> normally for taking up a, a cultivation of 1 hectare of land we need to have 50 to 60 number of beds over the dimension of 6 into 1.5 meters so for each bed we can sow 500 to 600 gram of seeds each bed with the dimension of 6 into 1.5 meter we can accommodate 500 to 600 gram of seeds so we are going to have 50 to 60 number of beds this pass sowing is necessary so uh, per 1 cent 1 uh, kg we can then uh, some basal we have to apply dap also at the rate of 2 kg per cent and uh, sorry we have to apply dap and 10 days prior to pulling we have to apply that sipsum also per kg uh, per cent so if you follow all these processes that germination and sealing establishment will be there then as and when that seed attain optimum age we can go for that uh, transplanting of the seedlings in the main field uh, in the case of short duration crops that uh, optimum age of the seedling is 18 to 22 days whereas medium duration crop 25 to 30 days whereas long duration the nursery period is 35 to 40 days as and when that uh, age of the seedling is uh, 35 to 40 in the case of long durations we have to transplant the seedling in the main field so uh, uh, so before uh, that uh, seedling attain that particular age we have to prepare the main field so we have to go for that uh, puddling and uh, plowing and everything finally we have to do that leveling because most of the rice we are following that flood irrigations 
so for in the case of blood irrigations we have to ensure that uh, level surfaces generally that uh, proper disposal of water will be there and uh, <coughs> there won't be any problem with reference to irrigating the field so proper leveling we have to ensure proper leveling and also that should have adequate drainage facilities so once that land is prepared we can go for that pulling out of the ceilings from the nursery so manually you have to pull out that ceiling from the nursery then we can go for that uh, transplanting so in the case of uh, transplanting we can follow that line sowing line sowing is recommended for seed purpose we have to follow that line sowing and uh, spacing also you have to follow that optimum say example if it is saturations you have to follow that uh, and uh, spacing of uh, 20 into 10 cm 20 means that is a spacing between the i mean between the rows 10 cm that is a uh, within the rows that is a within the row between the plants in the case of medium duration variety we have to follow the 20 into 15 cm whereas long duration that is a 20 into 20 cm here that is guided so 20 into 20 cm for long duration variety we have to follow so line planting we have to follow so here you can see that is a line planting they are doing and then uh, uh, after planting immediately we have to apply that all the major nutrients so before that planting that field should be applied with 12.5 tons per hectare that is a farmyard manure farmyard manure we have to apply at the rate of 12.5 tons per hectare and uh, uh, with reference to that macronutrient like uh, npk nitrogen phosphorus and potass as far as rice is concerned the recommended dose is 150 50 50 kg of npk per hectare out of 150 50 50 kg of npk per hectare 75 kg of nitrogen and 50 kg of phosphorus and 50 kg of potass applied as a basal so a uh, nda dose of that phosphorus and nda dose of the potassium as applied as a basal that is uh, before that last following we have to apply that one and uh, the remaining quantity remaining 75 kg of that uh, nitrogen is applied in two split doses one at uh, tillering second at flowering so at the time of tillering we have to apply 40 kg remaining 30 kg should be applied at flowering uh, and the another thing is uh, some of the micronutrient also uh, micronutrient deficiency also create some sort of problem particularly in the case of paddy zinc deficiency that causes problem of the kaira disease kaira disease actually disease it's not a disease but it's a nutrient deficiency related symptoms that will affect the yield potential of the uh, paddy in order to overcome that particular problems uh, so uh, as a basal that is uh, just if you were that the last following that field should be applied with 25 kg per hectare zinc sulfate so per hectare we have to apply 25 kg zinc sulfate as a basal so by that way we can overcome that particular problem or once you miss uh, to apply that zinc sulfate as a basal Uh, you can apply that one um, during uh, 30 or and 40 and 50 the day after planting as a foliar spray so as a foliar spray you can apply 30 the day 40 the day and 50 the day after planting the concentration is 0.5 percent so you have to use 0.5 percent um, as a foliar spray so mainly to overcome the zinc deficiency related things so these are all the uh, macro and micronutrient recommend as far as that rice is concerned and then coming back to that crop management uh, activity so that weed management is very very important so here to control that weed we have to apply the dipendimethylene at the rate of 2.5 liters per hectare similarly that putaclor also this and all some uh, free emergence herbicides so putaclor 2.5 liter per hectare uh, so this will control that uh, weed growth and then on 30 to 35th day after planting manually we have to do that one hand weeding also if you follow we can automatically control that weed population so this is a very very important one then uh, irrigation also another very very important operation because we are uh, cultivating these particular crop for uh, seed purpose so uh, we have to provide adequate amount of water during the critical period so critical period we have to ensure that water availability if you are not able to ensure availability of water during that critical period like primary initiation vegetative and milky and maturation stage ultimately that uh, quality of the seeds get affected uh, primary initiation mean that is a transition period from vegetative to reproductive 
so by the way of dissecting that uh, stem of the plants we will come to know whether this is getting uh, transformed from sifting from vegetative to flowering and all okay so during that particular time we have to ensure that adequate water supply and vegetative then milky stage and maturation stage and all very very critical stages uh, here you can see that uh, various uh, stages of the development of the paddy is given so that uh, panicle formation flowering maturity everything is there so during that critical period we have to ensure that water availability and uh, that previous in that agronomic principles related to that seed production itself we discussed that roging is very very important operation water may be the crop so in the case of paddy also we have to get into the field particularly at the time of flowering and maturity times we have to get into the field and we have to verify the presence of uh, that uh, the, the, the field uh, and uh, percentage of op types that is available in the field in petal any op types are available that should be removed so by that way only we can ensure that the genetic purity of our same material roging is very very important operations likewise that best management also uh, very important operations so uh, we have to use appropriate chemical to control the major pest Uh, related to that paddy like stem borer thrips leaf hopper all those things we have to control so appropriate pest control measure also we have to follow and uh, these are all the major pests uh, with reference to that paddy is concerned ppk leaf holder so all those things we have to control and then similarly the disease also plast brown spot sheet blight bacterial leaf blight like that so many uh, pathogen also causes problems so we have to control all these things or otherwise the physiological quality of our seed get affected physiological and physical quality of our seed will be affected uh, if it is a seed crops so that should be subjected to that uh, field inspection in the case of paddy that uh, seed certification officers they will visit your field during uh, flowering and maturity time so during flowering and maturity time they will come for the inspection so they will get into the field and they will uh, point out that uh, field standard mainly that uh, percentage of op type and objectionable wheat plants all those things they will verify uh, in the case of uh, foundations the maximum permissible limit of that op type is 0.05 percentage the maximum permissible limit up to this they can permit 0.05 percent is the maximum permissible limit suppose that uh, op type number exceed beyond that 0.05 percent in the case of foundation seed a uh, paddy means simply they will reject your field or uh, during that first inspection they will ask you to remove all those things then only i will accept like that they will give you a warning because it is a self pollinator crops if at all any op type is there that going to be physically there so because of that they give a warning if it is a cross pollinator crop if at all any op type is recorded after that pollination and flowering is over definitely they will reject the field uh, since it's a self pollinator crop because of that they will give a warning so if it is a foundation the maximum permissible op type is 0.05% if it is a certified seeds there they are permitting up to 0.2% similarly the objectionable weeds also they have uh, limitations if it is a foundation maximum permissible limit is 0.01 percent whereas certified seeds 0.02 percent is a maximum permissible limit so during that uh, flowering time and maturity times they will verify and they will compare your field standard with the standard given in the indian minimum seed certification standard so uh, for all the crops the field standard and the seed standards and all available in the name of indian minimum seed certification standard so whatever that standard is available that is a that is a standard so your field uh, data will be compared with the standard if it is your field data is on par with that standard then only they permit you to continue that seed production operation or otherwise they will reject your field and ask you to convert your seed production field into a grain production field so maintenance of that field standard is very very important then um, that everything is okay that field standard everything is fulfilled for that flowering and maturity time that uh, seed certification officers they will permit you to go for that harvesting so you have to since it's a seed crop we have to harvest the crop at a physiological maturity stage so that um, um, symptoms associated with the physiological maturities are the seed stone uh, straw yellow color 
um, straw yellow color and also the ear gate exhibit that drooping symptom that uh, paper that that will be erect or something so as and when that attained physiology maturity that ear gate started to drooping symptoms and moisture content also somewhere around 18 to 20 percent so these are all the maturity indices um, with reference to that uh, paddy attained physiology maturity so during that times we have to harvest the crop and uh, bring down that moisture content then go for that uh, separation of the seed from the mother plant once the seed is separated from the mother plant then you have to reduce that moisture content to the level of 10 to 13 percent then you can go for that uh, cleaning and grading operations with the help of the machines so in the case of paddy we have uh, um, different uh, um, material like long slender material slender material medium slender short pole like that uh, so in Tamil Nadu that long slender is the most prepared rice for consumption purpose the very good example is pony and improved white pony so long slender means the dimension is 1.3 millimeter into 19 millimeter slender type and medium slender short pole short pole is normally most prepared food item uh, most prepared rice by the uh, that Kerala so it's uh, normally in Tamil it is called as a gund rice short pole type uh, seed yield will be somewhere around 50 to 60 quintals per hectare so that is a 5000 to 6000 kg per hectare in the case of variety and uh, once that cleaning grading everything is over uh, after that we have to go for that uh, storage so pure storage of your material that should be given with uh, some uh, protection treatment because during storage there is a chance for occurrence of the pest and diseases so in order to give protection to your seeds against storage pathogens as well as that insect populations seed must be given with uh, pesticide as well as fungicide treatment so fungicide normally used for these purposes pevistin so previously we recommended theram recently theram and captain and all burned by the government of india so now better we can use that uh, carbon decimal pevistin at the rate of 2 gram per kg of seeds then after treatment is given uh, we can pack the seeds in appropriate containers say example uh, that uh, duration of that uh, storage is known accordingly we can select that uh, uh, that containers used to for storage say example you are going to store the seeds for about six months short term means in that case you can use that moisture previous container moisture previous container means this container will permit the entry of the moisture into the uh, in, inner side of the container say example is the cannae bag or cloth bag so here you cannot uh, maintain the moisture content of the seed throughout the period of storage so because of that and this particular container is used for short term storage medium storm storage means there we have to use that polythene bag with less than 300 cost thickness so that is the thing uh, long term storage we have to use that moisture vapor proof container so here that entry of water both in the form of liquid as well as vapor is prevented so whatever that initial moisture say example the initial moisture content of the seed is 6 percent means even after a year of storage that moisture content remains same that is the advantage of this one so if you are aiming for a storage of your seeds for more than a year you can use that moisture vapor proof container so the example is aluminium foil pouches or polythene bag with more than a 300 cost thickness so these are all the things so based on uh, the duration of storage you have to select that appropriate storage containers for packing and storing up your seeds so um, yeah. Before selling up your seeds in the open market, that should be uh, tested with reference to their seed quality parameters. So the seed standards need to be verified. The seed standard like uh, physical purity, genetic purity, and uh, germinations, moisture content, all those things need to be uh, verified. So as far as that paddy is concerned, for foundation seed, uh, sort of, uh, purity wise, that should have a uh, 98% both for certified and foundations and the maximum permissible inert matter other than your seeds the maximum permissible limit is two percent and huskless seeds in both the cases foundation certified classes two percent and other crop seeds in terms of number maximum permissible permissible limit is 10 number per kg in the case of foundation whereas in the case of certified we are permitting up to 20 number per kg then other distinguishable variety in short called as a odv odv it is also maximum in terms of number in the case of foundation seed the maximum number permittable number is 10 number per kg certified seed 20 number per kg 
and uh, bore water may be the class of seed either it's a primbed seed or uh, foundation or certified that should have a 80 percent germinations there won't be any difference among the classes with reference to germination so that should be minimum 80 percent germinations then only you can sell that particular seed as a seed in the market suppose the mass and the germination is less than 80 percent you cannot sell that particular seed uh, uh, in the market Similarly, that master kind of the seed also we have to ensure. So, for power foundation certified seeds, if you are going to use that uh, master previous content, that is a candy bag means there we have to ensure that 13 percent master content. If it is a vapor proof container, the master content should be 8 percent. So, these are all the things with reference to seed standard. So, here at field level, we have to maintain that field standard once after harvesting and threshing, cleaning and grading, everything is over, pivot, packing and storage and uh, seed quality need to be tested, that uh, seed standards we have to check. So whatever that uh, test results you are going to get for your seed, that should be compared with the Indian minimum seed certification standard. So uh, that uh, these are all the standards, so this time you have to compare the data of your seed lot with the standard. So if your seed lot fulfill all these requirements, then only you can sell this particular material as a seed in the open market. So these are all the items with reference to that paddy varietal seed production is concerned. So in the next class, we can discuss about uh, uh, paddy hybrid seed production. Thank you.